Hello, this is Jake, and welcome back to another video on my automotive channel. Today, we're going to be looking at one of my favorite cars that I own, my 2002 Porsche 911 Targa. Last time I done a video on this was about two months ago, and I just had it wrapped in interference pearl purple. And I haven't done much since, to be honest, but I thought I would give you an update on the car and everything. Um, so please remember to like and subscribe to my channel, and we'll take a closer look at the car now. Okay, there she is. Certainly a stunner. The purple is looking fantastic in the sun today. Um, it really does look so good. I have so many looks and people ask me about it. And they can't believe it's actually a, a liquid wrap. Um, but yeah, look at that. The colour just... When the sun hits it, it just pops. So I've done some modifications to this, obviously. Um, my shadow's in the way, let me go over here. So I put the classic ducktail rear wing on, which is fiber glass, and I had it specially made by removing what would have been the rear brake light here, which was on the original spoiler that popped up. So I got my Petula sticker there. I want to take that one off and put a new one on just because some of the lines, um, it didn't go on as well as I hoped. And then instead of having just a Targa badge here, which I did think about doing, or having 911 Targa, I saw these decals come up like this. And again, this is the classic Porsche decal like you would have on the old 80s and early, uh, well, late 70s as well. Um, and I really like that look. So I went for that style and I think it suits it very nicely. Uh, you can have a look there, there's a grill as well. These I was going to change to metal, still might, we'll see if i got time. Um, but yeah, that ducktail just really sets the car off. Then of course the rear bumper with the splats. So even though this is a Series 2 911, I found a Series 1 bumper with, a, with the splats fitted. And I wanted the splats. Um, I don't know if you remember, I've done a video, I bought some splats to go on a Series 2 bumper and they just wouldn't fit because they weren't designed for that bumper, they were designed for a Series 1. So what I had to do was find a Series 1 bumper. As it was, one come up at the right time with the splats already fitted. So yeah, I'm so pleased. I've washed the car today and it's already dirty. Um, so I'm not too happy about that. I've not been anywhere and the car is absolutely covered again. Um, but yeah, so there's the bumper. So here's the skirts. Um, again, these were aftermarket fitted. These are not proper 911 skirts, um, but they look so nice on the car. They really do, and they set it off um, very nicely. They are, again, fiberglass. Um, not OEM, but it doesn't matter. Even the ducktail's not OEM, but still sets the car off. Um, <clears throat> The wheels, originally I had 911 sport wheels that come with the car from factory. Never liked them. I always said that it's first thing I'm going to change, even before I bought the car, those wheels are going, I'm going to have either some proper Porsche wheels, the five spoke, or I have some custom ones. And as it was, I decided that I would wrap the car in purple quite a long time ago. So I decided to go with the gunmetal wheels by Two Forge. Um, took me a while to shop around because we've got 10s on the back, 8s on the front. But I've just had new tyres put on these as well at the rear. So two new tyres, loads of grip. And then again I had the custom purple valves done as well. I don't know how well they show up on camera but there they are. So yeah they do look really nice on the car. And again the front with the acid green calipers that need a bit of a clean. Um, I might even end up taking the wheels off to give them a good clean um, very soon. Unfortunately, the wheel has been damaged. Now, I honestly cannot remember it in this car anywhere. So I'm not too sure what's happened. I've obviously caught a curb somewhere when I was out driving. I have no idea where though. So I'm quite annoyed about that at the moment because I honestly cannot remember it in the curb. Uh, one of the things I still didn't actually end up doing was carbon mirrors, which it still might happen, we'll see. We've 
we've just had, even though it's lovely and sunny, as you can see, we just had a rainstorm about 20 minutes ago, so we had the cars wet again. But I didn't do nothing with the front end of the car. That is all standard. There you go. The light's playing up a little bit here. I was going to change the um, side lights here, the repeaters. Um, just haven't got around to that at the moment. But as you can see, I've got my ass tag on the side. There'll be a link in the description to my um, Instagram. Hello. You can keep an eye on my 911 and my other cars as well. But yeah, there you go. So that's pretty much everything. Um, I'm not going to be doing any more modifications to this car now. Oh, I did forget about the Ferdinand decor here. Something I saw at a show quite a while ago um, on a 911. Uh, I think it was actually a 997 where it's a 996, but I saw that and I was like, yeah, I'm going to have that on mine. So I ordered a decor and... You know, it's just a nice little touch, a personal touch that I wanted to do to the car. Um, I could have had anything there, but I went with that. Um, and it looks good. I like it. You know, it's my car at the end of the day, so I can do what I want to it. Um, and obviously, we got Dansk um, silencers already fitted before I had the car. Um, but there you go. That is a quick look. Now, I will apologise for the mess inside. There you go. Um, remember I said I was going to do this all carbon I just haven't got around to it and now unfortunately I think the car's going to be sold but still you know it's, these things happen I, I had the purple belt done of course remember doing a video on them really actually enjoy doing this job putting these in uh, it's one of the you know one of the jobs I did actually really enjoy I still never got around to doing the back ones but the car's more or less immaculate inside um, and I do wish I'd done some of the, some more of the carbon mods. But there we have it. That's inside. Um, so yeah, that is my Porsche 911 wrapped in interference pearl purple, and it just looks so good. I mean that now at the back here. Yeah, look at that. Um, and the reason I went for purple was purely because. It's one of my favourite colours. And I always wanted a purple Porsche 911. And that's a car going over Catagrid. And hopefully now, well, I have got one, let's say. Uh, the car was obviously silver underneath. And I had so many purists saying, that, why did you do that? But I'd done it because I can do it. You know, it's my car at the end of the day. Um, I can do what I want to it. If I wanted to, I could have it painted in any colour. So could be, it could have been bright pink. <laughs> with purple wheels but never mind but yes yeah, so i'm gonna take some more pictures and everything uh, get some shots of the rear like i said unfortunately i think the car's going now gonna be sold but i'm only selling because i'm gonna move on to something newer um well i say newer older a lot older but yeah don't worry i'll have more on that very soon and i've got a video coming up talking about cars as well um, so that should be interesting. But there we go. There you go. I mean, that ducktail wing alone, that had so many comments on Facebook. I can't believe it. Um, so many people asking about it and everything, where they get it. And then obviously I had it custom done to remove the rear brake light as well. But it, it just sets the car off. I didn't want a, you know, a GT wing, something massive up here. Um, I didn't want that. I wanted to go with kind of a retro look to the back of the car and hopefully I've achieved that. So there you go, that is my 2002 Porsche 911 Targa. Probably should have mentioned that earlier, but yeah, this is the Targa with the slow back roof that works completely fine. Um, I'll have a video coming on cars very soon, like I said, just explaining what's happening and where the Porsche is going and some of the other cars that could be coming. But yeah, so please like and subscribe to my channel. Check out more videos, uh, more content coming very soon. And I shall see you all very soon in more videos.